everybody hi everybody so i just wanted to do a quick video about a quick update i got a position as a pca in the labor and delivery unit and i'm still in the same hospital so i just i'm switching from one unit to the next i currently work at a progressive pca in a progressive unit as a pca um i'm excited i'm happy i feel like one of the reasons was because my nursing school doesn't have any labor and delivery any preceptorships, so I was just checking online. I saw that there were openings for PCA within my hospital. I applied. I waited for like two weeks, and then they called me. I did the Zoom interview, but I didn't do good because I was too anxious, and then um, I stumbled on some of my words. And then I got the call three weeks later. I accepted the position. It's 0.5, so just 20 hours in one week and then 20 hours in the next week. Wonderful as a nursing student, and it's evening, so I don't have to do nights anymore. I can sleep in. Um, I'm going to miss my unit. I love the nurses there. Love my coworkers. Learned so much from there. Love it so much, but I think it's time for me to move on and try another field and see how it is. I'm excited and this is just a reminder to anybody that um, once you put your mind into something and you go for it and you continue to apply. It took me six months to get my first hospital PCA job. I didn't, I still didn't get it until I knew a friend who worked there and she told her managers and then I got that job. And now look at me, I'm actually going for something else that I have interest in. I'm interested in maternity health and OB and that's a stepping stone. I'm starting off as a PCA and in the future if I love what I do, who knows, I might get hired on that unit as a postpartum nurse or as a labor and delivery nurse as a, a nurse to the mom and baby. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!